Today, we're diving into the brand new macOS Tahoe 26 Beta 9. This update isn't just about minor bug fixes. It brings hidden refinements and real new features you can already try out and see right on the screen. Let's check them out together. Along with macOS Tahoe 26 Beta 9, Apple released new betas for iPadOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, VisionOS, and watchOS, plus release candidates for macOS 14.8 and 15.7. Let's start with Recovery Assistant. If your Mac suddenly refuses to start, it's no longer the end of the road. The new Assistant can launch a full diagnostic on its own and then automatically try to fix the problem it finds. All you need to do is press a couple of buttons and wait your Mac takes the repair process into its own hands, giving you a much easier and less stressful way to bring the system back to life. Next up is the App Store. A brand new section called Accessibility Labels has been added. Think of these as clear markers that show how well an app supports people with different needs and abilities. Before you even hit download, you can already see whether the app will work for you. It saves time for users and makes the whole experience more transparent, while also giving developers a chance to highlight the accessibility features they've built in. Disk Utility now includes a brand new format called Apple Sparse Image Format. These images take up less space and are perfect for things like virtual machines or large project storage. You can create one right from the Disk Utility menu with just a couple of clicks, making the process simple, efficient, and easy to see in action. Apple Intelligence and Foundation models bring smarter suggestions and faster work with text and images. Summaries appear almost instantly thanks to pre-warming. Image Playground generates styled pictures smoothly, and Genmoji lets you create custom emojis right inside your conversations. Authentication services now make passkeys noticeably faster and more seamless. When you sign in or register, the system only shows the passkey interface at the exact moment your device is ready to create one. That means no unnecessary prompts, no wasted clicks, just a direct, streamlined flow. Love gaming? Now with a DualSense controller, just press the home button to bring up the game overlay. And the same controller can be switched effortlessly between multiple devices. For those typing with the ABC India keyboard layout, the backtick has been replaced with the rupee symbol. The backtick isn't gone, you can still type it using the option key. It's a small change, but a welcome one for anyone working with code or finance. Object capture has been upgraded with improved algorithms. Now 3D reconstructions of low-texture objects look noticeably better. Metal 4 is now officially here, unlocking a new generation of tools for games and graphics. It brings more advanced rendering, smoother performance, and the foundation for richer visual effects. Love Charts? Swift Charts now includes a new type called Chart 3D. You can build three-dimensional visualizations and even rotate them in space. It's a great feature for anyone who works with data. Safari has received important stability fixes, and WebKit now lets you track navigation with async sequence and load URLs directly. For everyday users, the browser is more reliable, and for developers, there are more powerful tools to work with. That's what Beta 9 brings to the table. It's a mix of powerful tools for developers and fresh, practical features that everyday users can enjoy right away. Share in the comments which change feels the most important to you, and get ready. The final release of macOS Tahoe 26 is just around the corner.